this is how I sound through the internal microphone of the GoPro Hero 2018. This is how I sound through the ETM001 connected to my GoPro Hero 2018. Hi everyone, it's Fjurström. If you own a GoPro, you probably know that the sound quality of the internal microphone isn't really that good, especially on the Hero 5 and 6, and it's a little bit better, but still not perfect on the GoPro Hero 2018. Now to improve the sound of my GoPro while vlogging for my travel videos, I purchased three products, and those are... Of course, the GoPro 3.5mm microphone adapter, which is compatible with the Hero 7 Black, Hero 6 Black, Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session, but actually also works on the GoPro Hero 2018, which isn't on the list of compatible devices, but actually does work. Then also the ETM001, which is a very good microphone, uh, especially for its size. It's a really wonderful microphone, which sounds much better than the GoPro's internal one. And finally, we have the Ulanzi V2, which is a GoPro case that can mount a camera and or something else and also store the 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter nicely under the camera so let's start the unboxing so first of all we will need this over here it's the gopro 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter this is the only adapter that will work with the gopro so let's unbox it now the biggest thing that you'll notice about this thing is its size. I mean, it's really a big thing. And there we go. So this is it. Now for this video, I will be using the Hero 2018. You have here the side door. Now this door is removable, which will be needed to be able to test the uh, the microphone. Now if you add then this over here, then yeah, then you can add a microphone like this. But you know, this is kind of wobbly. And even if you would plug it in upwards, still, there's a thing dangling of your uh, of your GoPro, which is kind of irritating. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers, which I really admire their creativity, that like stick it under here or something, or that um, found ways to just like make it into like one, one nice piece. And luckily, I'm really happy, Ulanzi, this one over here, made a case that you don't need to stick anything. It's just really attached to the case. And so this is how it looks like. Quality seems very good, actually. It has a mount on top. Me, I won't be using this as I'll, I don't have, I don't need it actually. I just have this tiny microphone, but um, you could add something else. You could add a light, for example, or I could add a light in the future. Slide this thing off. Put the GoPro in here. Slide it back. There we go actually very easy and if you're recording you can still see the light blinking over there but also in front so the light they made a hole here for the light so you can still see it blink and of course you still have your screen and on top over here you still have a microphone as well which isn't covered while the GoPro case that is included with your GoPro does cover it so here uh, it's also a nice solution but then maybe we'll be not using this anymore we'll be using uh, a real microphone now we will insert the GoPro uh, microphone adapter through here and insert it like this. And this is actually a very snug fit. It really fits well. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. And I have two options. Either you go for the road one, which looks like this, and you add it here on top, or uh, you go for an omnidirectional microphone, another microphone, and this is one that I chose. So here is now the unboxing of the ETM001. Uh, by the way, very nice packaging. Now this is an omnidirectional microphone, which means it will capture all the sound around you, 360 degrees, which means that if you plug it in on the side, it will capture the sound from the back and from the front. So I can just be like filming, it will capture the sound in front, but also capture my voice uh, when I'm behind the camera. With a directional camera, you need to, let's say if you want to talk from, from the back of your camera, you need to twist the microphone towards you. And besides the twisting part, I also like the fact that this is just very small. Now, uh, Editage also has a directional microphone, which I will link in the description. So let's take it out. It's this small, by the way, there's also a little foam over here. You can buy dead cats, mini dead cats, which are again those hairy things, to prevent uh, wind noise. I mean, it's very useful, of course, if you're outside a lot. Uh, me, I'm fine with just this one here. It will also make it quite compact. Okay, the quality is really good. This seems to be metal. This is gold plated, by the way. So we have two ports over here. We have the USB-C port that can still charge the device while I'm recording. And then we have here the 3.5 millimeter jack, which you can use just to plug in my microphone. I'll still add this, by the way. And this is my setup. That's it. Look how small this is. It can just fit in my hand and I can start recording just like this. Oh, look, my GoPro. GoPro, stop recording. 
thank you. Now, whichever microphone you choose eventually, there will still be a big difference in sound quality. Let me demonstrate now. So I'll, this is, by the way, the GoPro Hero 2018 that doesn't officially support this adapter, but apparently does work. So I'll just let it loose. So I'll now record without the microphone plugged in. Hi everyone, it's Fjordström and this is how I sound through the internal microphone of the GoPro Hero 2018. Currently I'm holding the GoPro with a tripod. Alright, now I'm holding it on the case. So I'm holding it on the side of the, of the GoPro here on the case right now. And I'll just tap on the case because if you're moving you will accidentally tap it or make some more friction while using the GoPro case. So that's me tapping on the side and on the front. Now, I'll just make it quiet right now. Let's just listen at the background. First of all, you can hear my surroundings, where I am right now. And if I hold quiet, you should hear some background noise. Let's just listen. And now let's switch to the ETM-001. Hi everyone, it's Fjordström, and this is how I sound through the ETM-001 connected to my GoPro Hero 2018. So normally the sound should be clearer, you shouldn't hear any hissing sounds in the background, and the sound should also have started immediately correctly, instead of gradually uh, coming from quiet to louder. So normally you should hear the difference, and I'm almost sure that it will make a big difference while, um, while filming, while vlogging. Now I'll just do the same, I'm holding it through the tripod, I'll now hold it in my hand. So this is me right now holding it in the, by its case on the side. And I'll just tap now on the side and in the front. Okay, now let's make it quiet and just listen at the background. Now it is possible that you might hear more echo because this is an omnidirectional microphone. I'm also talking from the side of the microphone, by the way, as it's pointing to the side. So this is how I sound when using the, uh, the microphone. And so this is now my new GoPro setup. The Ulanzi V2, the GoPro microphone adapter, and the Editage ETM-001, all in a very compact and nice package. I can't wait to use this setup on my next travel video, uh, but all the links to these products are in the description and please use those links if you want to look up more information or if you're considering to order them. If you have any questions just leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful and consider subscribing as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.